Oh, oh boy. You want to you want to kill this book? You want to Let's fucking, kill this book let's dead. Kill this book. Let's Let's, let's ki- You know what? You know let's this you, you know who else wants to kill this book? Who's that? Hey there everybody. <laughs> Welcome back to Pixlet. My name is Kevin. With me, as always, is Phil. Uh, and today we're we're doing the floating castle. We're uh, finishing up. King's wrapping class up that floating, floating castle. castle. Let's wrap it up. I might just. Ooh, it might be a short episode because I. Castle I am, it won't. It won't be floating much after we're done with it, my friend. The castle will not be floating. It's gonna be. It's gonna be flushing. It's gonna be the flushing castle. Oh, it it flushed. Believe me, it flushed. Good Ooh. lord. So Good parts Lord. one and two, we were like, hey, it's boring, but maybe it'll get better. And then part three, before the call now, we were just like, didn't. Didn't. So didn't didn't do it. So uh, let's let's just go ahead and put the body in the mash. Let's put the body in the mash. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So it's uh, we're on chapter 18. Uh, Lydia creates a floaty fake man out of a jacket and hat. Lydia, by the way, in case you forgot, because we were just introduced to her, is the princess yes. of the castle. Um, she creates a floating fake man and sends him out into the out the window and into the garden. Uh, and then she gets Laurel's attention that there's a man in the garden. And Laurel is her her like two headed, you know, uh, school marm type person that watches her. Of course. Of course. Of course. Um, and then they sneak down to the mirror because Alexa- Alexander was told that he could walk through the mirrors if he cast a spell. He goes down the mirror and uh, he. This is so the my recap of page 18 pretty much stops here because <laughs> the rest of it is just this sentence. He sees Telgren torturing the soul of his father. That is. Seven more pages of that. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And Graham's like, no, I'll, I'll, I refuse. And Talgren is like, ah, how yeah. about this? It, Graham is very brave. And Graham and, is brave. And Talgren's uh, evil. Talgren's evil. For, for several pages. For several pages. <laughs> Chapter 19. Alexander's still watching. Uh, and he's waiting for the right time to strike because it, it couldn't have been any of the 20 minutes pre- pre- preceding. <laughs> no. Meanwhile, don't, Laurel don't, must don't be, be having stupid. a lot. Of, <laughs> she must be having a lot of trouble with that hat and hat and coat that's floating around the. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. <laughs> the that. <garden. laughs> they create the fake person out of the floating hat and coat. Yeah. And. Now they're he's he's waiting and he has to he's like, oh, I could I could just get in there and grab uh, my dad's soul. But I mm-hmm. also promised Owen that I would get the staff and I can't yeah. break that promise. <laughs> I like I appreciate, uh, you know, being uh, good to your word. And I know that we're dealing with like nights on the round table style. Sure honor here but uh get, get you get your dad get, go get, get your go, go get your pops man get your fucking dad what the shit man um yeah so like anyway uh <laughs> f- 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 another hour goes by or something i don't know who cares um and uh finally telegram just leaves the staff leaning against the table and goes to read a book and alexander is like i'm running in i'm gonna grab it I'm grabbing it and I'm doing it now. I've got, but I got to be sneaky. And he talks about how, how sneaky he has to be. And he takes one fucking step and it's too loud and gets Telgren's attention. That's it. It's all it took. <laughs> Wait, but Kevin, this is a book based on a King's quest. Uh, 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 you know, the King's quest franchise. Surely there was a, uh, uh, a pair of fluffy slippers. He picked up somewhere along the way that he was, that he could put on and, and, um, no, no, no. OK, hey, there's there's no there's no inventory puzzle here. That's fine. <laughs> I suppose so that's fine. Uh, <laughs> he, 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 uh, uh, Telgren is like, ah, I'm going to attack you. And Alexander grabs the staff and there's a beam coming out of the staff and it knocks Telgren back and he escapes through the mirror and somehow it breaks the mirror, too. Yeah. Um, 
He's back at Lydia's house and Alexander talks to his dad, but Graham is getting pretty weak. Uh, Lydia is like, you got to promise to take me with you. And Alexander was like, fuck, I wish I was I, I was going to just leave you here captive of this evil wizard. I guess I'll take you with me. Sure, I guess. <laughs> Fine. Um, as they leave the house, Laurel sees them leaving. And then we go on to chapter 20. <sighs> All right. <laughs> All right. Come on. Come let's, on. Let's God damn it. it. Let's do let's this. Let's do it. Let's do this. Let's put body, this body in mosh. the mosh. Body in the mosh. <laughs> Chapter 20. Lydia orders the hat and cloak to cover Laurel's face and they escape. That's a wrap on Laurel. Yeah. Like you're you're not going to hear, hear of her again. Nope. Um, Alexander says they should go to the tower. Because he needs to get into the dungeon underneath the tower. So Alexander also discovers he can cast an invisible spell and he hides the two of them and they get past the guards. And then oh, they wait, go hold down. On, hold on, real quick. <laughs> okay, I hate okay. to I hate to slow us down when, when you're just it. building up ahead of steam here. Uh, it, um, yeah. I feel it's important to note that what happens is what what had happened was uh Alexander says to himself, I wish I was invisible, just musing to himself. And right. finds that the staff gives him the ability to go invisible. Cute. Fine. Clever. Cute. Fine. Right. And then he says, well, I wish Lydia was invisible. Fine. Whatever. And then we get like half a page where he realizes that, oh, gosh, we can't see each other. We can't see ourselves. It would be way more, um, you know, uh, practical if we were invisible to everyone but ourselves. So he has to go, oh, then I wish that we were invisible to everyone but each other and ourselves. And finally, we get the, 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 the it's just fucking make it. You 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 made the world. You wrote the world. Just start with that. Just start <laughs> with that. It's so much to- easier. <laughs> Just if you're like, oh, Alexander's problem solving. (laughs) Yeah, just start with that. You are inventing this world. (laughs) Oh, my God. Like, (laughs) just wasting our time. Despite there being a bunch of King's Quest games that were released before this, uh, there's been really no world building for magical rules in no. any of the games. No, so this is you your, can do whatever you want. Yeah. This is your chance to make it a thing. And <laughs> now it's just like, well, I have to be very specific. And it, right. okay, here's the thing. If it's like, if the, if the staff can just do that, if it's staff is just like, I say a thing and the staff does it. Why couldn't you just be like, uh, uh, make Talgrin's head explode or right. something like that? Right. <laughs> <laughs> the moment he realizes that that's how it works, why isn't he just like, bring me the soul of my father? Done. Get us the hell off this floating castle. Done. Like, <laughs> yeah. if that's how it works. Alexander's just not very bright, I think. Not I super think bright, that but that's why he he got in the castle, left the castle, and had to get back into the castle. Remember yeah. the witch? There's a oh, witch. Yeah. She doesn't come back. Spoiler alert. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We're done with her. We're done. Don't with you her. worry. In fact, none of the other char- none of the characters we've set up so far. Almost uh, none of them. None of them. The no. the the queen of the fae, the mm-hmm. the 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 witch, the auto de fae. Yeah, <laughs> they never come back. God knows they never come back. <sighs> Probably better that that one doesn't come back. Probably better the auto. Honest, de fae I think I, I can think of I can think of a lot of people who are happier that that stays that way. That's fine. That's fine. The auto de fae. Um, (laughs) (laughs) that's what you oughtn't have done, but you do anyway. (laughs) Um, anyway, anyway, uh, they they go down, they get into the dungeons and Telegram's like, uh, no, sorry. Alexander is like, oh, I'm getting sleepy. Oh boy. I'm a sleepy boy. Uh, it's the magic. And he turns off the invisibility Uh. spell and it's like, oh, well, the magic works like it drains your vitality when you use it. That's okay. Well, you established one rule. Yeah. Thanks, buddy. Thanks. Good. Fine. And then T- Telegram appears in front of him as a floating green head. <laughs> That's right. They have a lot of back and forth. And then Alexander shoots a laser beam into his freaking eye. Yeah. And <laughs> <laughs> he sure does. He sure does. He sure does. What the uh, fuck? Remember that one for later. Oh, uh, yeah. And then, and then a column collapses in the dungeon. 
uh, and it covers up all the, it's totally dark down there. So we're in chapter 21 now and uh, in the darkness, Lydia is attacked by the monster that was in the well earlier. I think I might've breezed right past that earlier because mm-hmm. when it was him and Cyril, cause it was just yeah. like, fuck me, Jesus yeah. Christ. Yeah. Um, so Alexander casts a light spell so that we can see what's going on and then uses the staff to burn the monster and releases Lydia and they continue on and they're talking and walking, walking and talking. And he tells Lydia to wait in the dungeon as he enters the cell with Owen in it. And he's like, you got to wait out here. And then Alexander mentioned goes to Owen and says, hey, Lydia's with me. Lydia being Owen's daughter. And Owen's like, no, you can't let her see me like this because I've got a he- my head yeah. is off my body. And I, I, I'm embarrassed for her I'm embarrassed. to see me that way. It's it's embarrassing for a, fa- a, a daughter to see yeah. her father without a head. What daughter wants that? What 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 f- what daughter <laughs> okay. wants a a. Uh, uh, What's the the Irish uh, a Dullahan? Um, the it's it's the same thing that uh, the headless horseman is. Oh oh <laughs> yeah, I think yeah, I think you're right. Dullahan no. or Dullahan or something no, it, like. That. Look, no 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 girl wants their father to become a Gaelic folk legend. That's all there is. No to it. girl wants their father to become a Gaelic oh, folk legend. That's those just, days are long gone. Those are the facts right there. Yeah. Um, yeah. You think Andrew Tate would want? Uh, would would become a Gaelic folk legend? Who cares? Because he's in fucking jail. I don't. Yeah, I don't think he would. I, I don't think he would. No jail Fight can hold Andrew. a Gaelic folk legend. That ain't Fight you, me, Tate. Tate. This is my 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 my. I am I am saying Andrew Tate should fight me in oh in a in 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 a water gun fight. Smart. Because I, I, even though I, I doubt his bona fides as a kickboxer, I still think he would kick my ass. Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah. He doesn't have to be. <laughs> he do, no offense, Kevin, but he doesn't have to be. He doesn't like, have to be like the champion. He can just no. be like yeah. tr- somewhat trained. Yeah. <laughs> that, that, that yellow belt I got in the sixth grade is gathering a whole lot of dust. Let me put it yeah, that way. That's, that's, yeah, it's not a. Anyway, uh, fuck Andrew Tate. Um, fuck Andrew Tate. <laughs> and, and we'll just add the enemies list. Let's, let's <laughs> add him to the enemies. The pixel the enemies list. Enemies the list. podcast <laughs> enemies list. Oh, the, the Richard Nixon pixel it <laughs> enemies <laughs> list. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming along. J.K. That's Rowling. Merch you will be fuck able to her buy. Too. Oh yeah, yeah, she can absolutely. She can go to hell. Um, fucking witch trials of J.K. Rowling. Oh, dear God. I, God, I cannot believe it. No. Fuck. No anyway. Anyway. Um, <laughs> that It's all relatively fresh when we're recording this. Um, yeah, it's it probably still be, very old news by now. <laughs> but f- who cares? It's who cares? always a good. Fuck it. It's, it's our show, God time. damn it. It's our show. It's like a commercial. Yeah. It's always time to say fuck J.K. Rowling. It, it's, there's always plenty of time to say fuck J.K. Rowling. Where were we? Oh, oh, yeah. Owen. Uh, he gives Owen the staff. Um, and Owen blasts the bars open, even though there was already a hole in the wall. And <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and he's like, I am complete or something like that. He's some real star scream bullshit. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah, it, it, it is. It's a very 80s metal kind of thing. I am complete. Alexander is for a moment there. Uh, I like the idea that Alexander was wary that Owen might be a bad guy or something. Yeah. With the way Owen was talking. And then that's never paid like we never get anything out of that. No, nothing comes of it. It, it. it was it was weird though because it got dangerously close to having nuance. Uh, the story in general. <laughs> we, I mean, we backed right the fuck away from that. Didn't no, we? no. We, it's like no. Look, <laughs> things might get vaguely complicated uh, and lead to to interesting drama and moments. So we right. do not want that. We don't want that. Back up off it. Back up. Mm-hmm. Um, all right. So we're in uh, chapter 22 and Owen asks Alexander to see Lydia safely out of the castle. Yes. And also, that's the second thing he needs to do is to remove the golden pin that keeps the, the, the castle bound to the earth. 
Right. Okay. It's a, it's a cool detail. That's um, a cool detail. Yeah. And very King's Quest. Very King's, very King's Quest. Quest. Yeah. Um, Alexander and Lydia do the sneaky, sneaky away up the stairs and out into the courtyard. And suddenly a bunch of black knights appear. Um, and then Telgrin shows up and he's missing an eye now or whatever, because the thing, because he blew it. Remember when he shot him with the laser and, yeah, the, golden, yeah. and the green head? Um, and that, that was a, that was an interesting rule where it was like, oh, I invested so much of myself into that spell that when you shot me in the eye, it was like being me being shot in the eye. Right. So it's like, oh, OK. <laughs> OK. But, no, what's the fucking point of magic then? What are we doing here? <laughs> yeah, like, can you, it could, would you be able to like invest just a little bit less of yourself and, and it, and it would go right through you or is there uh, like a slider that we can, right, right. And why push it so far up that end? If, if, yeah. if there is, I mean, I don't know. Why don't you, anyway, there's some uh, things we just aren't meant to know about this magical and mysterious world, Kevin. The only other note that I have in chapter 22. Um, oh, is, I thought you were about to say for the whole book. <laughs> like, no, 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 uh -oh. not for the whole book. Kevin just snapped. for chapter 22 <laughs> is uh, this quote. I only want to marry you if it's against your will. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and I, I just my note says, bro, what? <laughs> this to quote several people I've met on the Internet. Uh, that's a big yikes from me, chief. Uh <laughs> <laughs> no how about no. that how about yeah. no no he no. literally what because what's her argument like she she agrees to marry She's, him if, if lydia says i will marry you if you let alexander take his father and go yeah and his and reply like, <laughs> his his reply <laughs> is Man, I only want to marry you if it's against your will. And I know this was written in 1995, but I, I, that I, is that is a level of creep for this a, type of book that is out of left field. That yeah. is that is a lot of gross, man. <laughs> that is a lot of what in the actual fuck like that. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Yeah. This section, this final third of the book, by the way, has some of the most uh, bizarre uh, 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 verbiage. Yeah. Like the way that it's written. It's like it's like finally the author was trying to come up with some interesting turns of phrase. <laughs> and then he made uh, he made he wrote that villains extra super rapey and uh, yeah i mean that's yeah. what that's i guess that's the way to make him a villain uh, I mean, that's a I, you, you set it in stone there uh there no need is. to worry about killing Don't worry. our protagonist dad that uh, we, we got it, it. we good. got it we're you're you are a winner that's a that's a um, wrap that on point. any chance of you being a good guy boom nope. pow yeah it's gone <laughs> um chapter 23 uh, uh, chapter 23, my notes begin with, anyway, Owen shows. <laughs> Understand. Anyway, Owen shows up and begins acting as a distraction by killing all the knights. He puts yeah. Lydia to sleep so Alexander can carry her to safety. And, uh, Alexander, they, they go and then Lydia starts to wake up and Alexander has Lydia wait for him while he goes to get the golden pin. Chapter 24. Alexander wrestles the pin out of the ground. Up above, it seems like Owen is losing. Alexander climbs up and releases the portcullis. They come down and watch as Owen beats Telegrin by making him miss through where his neck isn't. So yes. Telegrin swings his sword. It goes through the, the chunk of where there is no neck. <laughs> and he falls over and, and Owen just bops him on the head. Yeah. And then Owen casts a spell, taking back everything that he had ever given Telegrin. And Telegrin turns into an 11 year old boy. Yeah. Yeah. Which is deep down inside what all these kind of motherfuckers are like. But sure. Still, yeah. still a weird choice. Basically, Ben Shapiro. He turns yeah. into Ben Shapiro. Turns him into yeah. Ben Shapiro. At least the same height. At least the same height. Yeah. 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 Um, 
let's see here. Uh, Lydia is like, all right, we can go now. Uh, yeah. Chapter 25, they go out through the gate. Ah, the castle is too damn high now. I'm like, oh, what's that down below? It's Cyril. And Cyril uses some magic to cast a spell on a piece of cord and it turns into a long rope. Yep. And they climb on down. Yep. And, and, and we get very elaborate explanations of how they use arms and knees and legs it's like it's like he was remembering high school gym class and be like, "Yeah, you guys remember how you used to climb the rope? This is this is how it works. One hand over the other, you, you, you they, wrap your legs around. Those are the details. The thing. Here's okay. some details. And then uh, Alexander uses the the pin. Remember the pin from remember the previous the chapter. He uses the pin as kind of like a a. a glider pulley thing and he rides the rope to the ground like a hero yeah <sighs> okay alexander then has cyril cast a wind spell and blow the castle away from daventry that's a wrap on the castle yeah castle's um, gone castle's gone with and now guess what the only occupant only people living in the castle now are a um a floaty head old ma- king named owen and 11 year old boy yeah. 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 That's oh, and and Laurel. Yeah, they gotta make a survival horror King's Quest based on that uh, leftover. Yes. The- <laughs> There's some really fucked up shit that they can do with a floating castle there. The the floating head man and the floating castle. Yeah. Um, and then Cyril and Lydia flirt a little bit, and then they take a nap. Yeah, yeah, which which I was super good with. I was super good with. We, we've talked about, because she's, what, 14? We know that. We're 14. Cyril's about s- s- same age-ish. Yeah, and, and we don't know Alexander's age, but I'm way more comfortable with just setting that off to the side, uh, having, gonna, having our supporting characters fall in love. Cool, we're just cool, fine. Move that over and yep. ignore that, and yep. that's all good. And we move um, along. Chapter along. 26, they go to a farm that was missed by Telegram's Black Knights, and they mm-hmm. borrow some horses, and we get a description of the horses oh my um, God. so they yeah. can go back to the castle faster. And that's, yep. this is, by the way, a lot of pages dedicated to getting back to the castle faster. If you wanted yeah. to get back to the castle faster, just fucking say that they're back at the castle. Right. You didn't need to experience. Right. The- <laughs> yes, because Alexander, he senses that his father's soul is is rapidly disintegrating and and they get it'll take a it took them two days to get out here on foot before and I don't think we got two days and we gotta get out there faster and Cyril's like well don't worry I passed a farm and they got horses well how convenient Cyril uh, let's go and he's like but we could ride a horse too and because he was at first like I could I gotta go out on my own I gotta and go like, man but we could but we could do it together it's like just just say they found some horses and went. It, it, this is not the compelling fiction that you think it is. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah. and like, and and the and we've got a dapple uh, uh, horse, and uh, this horse uh, this, is we have brown a, or something. We have a gelding, a you chestnut gelding. brown gelding. Yes, and over it, here and it has a mysterious yet relatable past, uh, and uh, its father was a drinker and a fiend, and like. <laughs> The father oh, I'm sorry, was a did drinker. you not want five pages of backstory on the goddamn horse? Just- the father used to work at the docks, but that was before the steam engine came along. <laughs> it just took everyone's livelihood away. It took everyone's livelihood away. And since then, his father drifted from job to job, prospects drying up faster than alcohol on a on a wet bar. <laughs> Which is where he ended up spending most of his Which time. Which is where he ended up spending most of his time. His mother. The camera, the camera pans back and it's Alexander on the back of the horse. And the horse is like casually telling him this. <laughs> <laughs> I was really with the whole point of us grabbing you is we needed to move fast. It's like, yeah, you're probably bored with my uh, my sob story anyway. Mm-hmm. It's like, no, I just. All right. Tell a little more. Just figures. A little more figures. Yeah. Uh, somebody would would want to. We'd want to hop on my old back and uh, uh, bore them to tears. Yeah. That's, that's just my life. Stupid, stupid, stupid. <laughs> Smashing his head with a hook. 
Oh, okay, God. fine. Just a few more minutes of the story. I just, my dad's dying and we're almost done with this book. Let me tell I, you how my dad died. Yeah. <laughs> You think you've got it rough. <laughs> he had been without the drink for five days. The shakes had set in. <laughs> the DTs Old, weren't far behind. The DTs weren't far behind. Old man's heart just couldn't take it. <laughs> oh man, what a better, what a what a much better book that uh, we're, we're writing here, Kevin. <laughs> Painting a picture with words here. <laughs> so. Uh, they get back to the castle. Ciro casts a spell on the orb, holding the soul in place, and goes back into Graham's body. Yay. We get There's a another- weirdly like tender moment between Graham and his wife, who we have not spent any time with. Like we spend oh, a yeah. weird amount of time focusing on how happy they are to see each other again. It's like yeah. okay, I'm sure they would be, don't get me wrong, sure. but it's like this, they want to okay, bang. We're we're times let's act like time's a factor here. Uh, yeah. Mr. Mills. Chapter 27. There's another chapter. Uh, oh, right. Yeah. Months later, Alexander visits Cyril and Lydia, who are now both apprenticing under Morrowinds. Mm. Yep. And that's that's the end. And we get we end with with them apprenticing under Tomorrow wins. <laughs> God damn you, Kevin. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Oh fuck, I'm in college again. God damn it. I nearly failed that biology class. Oh. Because of yeah. Morrowind. <laughs> I um I uh, it's amazing that I actually I I put in some effort for a a, a a thirty second joke at the very end of my notes. I'm proud of you, Kevin. I just I just <laughs> I feel like we've both come so far since we first met, and this is the culmination of all of that. I was like I was like, eh, you know what would be great is if I just played the Morrowind. Yeah, theme why not? Right <laughs> So close to having a soundboard it's a, on this hey, fucking It's a great show. theme. It's a great, it's a th- and it also Dude. immediately takes me back. Oh immediately. my god! Immediately, immediately. God, it's good music. God. <laughs> Wasn't uh, 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 Danny uh, Sex Bang? Mm. Uh, didn't he also like fail out of college because of Morrowind? I think. Yeah, I think he also had a similar problem where he was he was smoking pot all the time and and playing Morrowind. And yeah, it was. I, I wish lost that a I year of his life. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I wish that I was uh, had a cool enough factor uh, to involve like even drinking while play- no, I was completely fucking stone sober, uh, you know, wasting precious years of my life uh, uh, playing Morrowind over and over and over again. That game was crazy. Such a, go nuts. Oh, such a such a good game. Such a good game. It's, and so funny too when you like the things you could do where you you drink all the potions and then yeah. you're like zipping around. <laughs> it was it was it was probably it was probably the last Elder Scrolls that was very specifically built for that PC style gamer crowd. Uh, and I don't mean in yeah. terms of like mods and stuff because obviously that's a huge part of all the Elder Scrolls games, but because it encouraged you to really fall down a rabbit hole of all the weird random shit you could do. Yeah. That was, a, oh yeah, that was a great game. Anyway, that's the end of the book. That's, that's the end it. of that that's, book. That's the end we of put, that book. We, 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 uh, we have successfully put the body in the mash. The body, the body is floating in the mash. Yeah. You're not going to find that. You're not going to get that body. Even, mm-hmm. even when guy goes out to get a, a blow job, Guy from John Hancock goes out to get a blowjob <laughs> every Thursday. Every t- <laughs> so, oh. Phil, what'd you think? What? What do you? What? Do you, give me, give me, give me your thoughts. On, okay, that was almost a Jiminy Click voice. Um, <laughs> give me your thoughts. Give me your thoughts. So, uh, <laughs> you're not a very good actor. You're not so, a very good actor. Uh, not a very good actor. Uh, <laughs> I. I don't know if I could say that this affected me in the same way that uh, the Dark Souls book affected you, because th- sure. that's 
that's not uh, it doesn't come that close. Uh, But I feel the same sense of betrayal, I think, because this is a franchise that I adore. Um, It means a lot to me. And I the first two thirds of this book, I was I, I was not enjoying it, but I was still giving it the benefit of the doubt. Not just because the time period, uh, the style, it, there was a lot yet um, to unravel, let's say. Because uh, King's Quest is all about that classic adventure style of picking up everything. You find things and you go, I don't know what this is meant to do, but I'm sure it'll come in useful later. And and it almost always does. Sometimes it's a red herring kind of item, uh, but usually there's something to it. And at some point down the line, you go, oh, hey, this is why I've been carrying around right. this petrified biscuit uh, all this time. It's to feed to the glub glub worm and he poops out a key, you know, or whatever. And and there was basically none of that. And there were options for it a plenty. By the end of it, we had so many opportunities that you because he put in so many superfluous details. So this book is so padded, like a paragraph here, a paragraph there with like the geography of the stream that they're passing, the colors of the horses, all of this needless detail. And you could have used that to put in. And he picked up a coin and flipped it and popped it in his pocket. And you go, that's a weird detail, whatever. And then later it goes, but then he remembered the coin and it fit perfectly into the da da da. And you had so many opportunities for that. Yeah. But we just deus ex machina our way out of the castle and out of everything. Right on uh, through. Right on through. Like like Cyril just shows up and happens to know a spell and happens to be wearing, uh, you know, uh, he he gives him a, the string that holds his hood closed or whatever, and, and he makes it grow to turn into a big rope. And that could have been them like, it would have been there's, much. There's, but, there's, yeah, there's no setups and, and no payoffs. No, there's just like, shit that happens. Alexander could have found a piece of string or something like that and 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 put it in his pocket. And then later he's like, I don't I don't have any rope. All I have is this piece of string. And Cyril's like, hold on a second. I can use that. It would have been great, but it would have been better than just I happen to have everything right here. It's it's insulting. And it's it's so frustrating because it could have been like that. I don't know if this ever would have been a five star book, but it at least but, would have yeah. been true to the source material on a level that you're like, OK, I get it. I get what they were doing here. Not not necessarily my taste. It's not a masterpiece, but it is, it is a accurate representation of what those games are meant to be like. Right. In a book form. And they couldn't even do that. Uh, they did, I, you know, they did it a couple of times. We gave them a lot of shit over the, uh, (laughs) the everlasting biscuit wallet. Yeah. uh, Yeah. 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 The wallet of, of super bread. Right. And, 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 you know, that's insane. It's insane, but it's very King's quest. It's super King's quest. That is a very King's quest thing. So they know what they're doing. Yeah. They know how to do this. They just kind of gave up. Uh, they just the didn't end. because you know what's all you know what would have been a great a great way to like to to a nice like setup and payoff that I just thought of. All right, mm. at the end, their time is of the essence. They need a horse to get back to the castle. Some sort of horse, some sort of thing that's like a horse. Yeah. That that did they interact with anything like that? I don't know. Maybe you could have set it up so that earlier you you got the Kelpie on your side. Yeah. And yeah. then it comes back around to pay off at the end and be like the Kelpie's like, oh, you need a ride back to the and they're like, yeah. And it it yep. helps them. And they're like, that would have been there you go. There's That'd the, been great. There's and, the, and it would have been very King's Quest. Yeah. You know, King's Quest V, he helps out the ants and the ant queen, and later they show up out of nowhere to help him find a needle in a haystack. And it's adorable and silly and fun. And yeah. that could have worked. That would have been great. I, I like that idea, Kevin. That would have been great. That would have been uh, great. In the alternate history version of this book, <laughs> that would have been wonderful. Yeah. Um, all right. So, there. So yeah, the, 
the 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 stuff with the Fay, which is a big deal. Never, there, nothing. No. Um. There's there's just a lot of just details out there, and they are used once and discarded. Yeah. Yeah. It's to say this has loose ends is insanity. Like this is this is this is nothing but it's it's a frayed manuscript. It is filled. It is frayed. With loose ends. Yeah. It is. It is. It, yeah. is. it is dire. It is. It is. It's been wet. There is. It's a piece of paper. Has been. It's. It's wet and in the water. And yeah, I'm apoplectic it over is, this book. It is. It is. It's a real shame. I. I. Uh, all respect to the late Mr. Mills, but I didn't like your book very much. Um, yeah, well, the other yes. two King's Quest books are written by uh, someone else entirely. So maybe they got somebody who picked up a little more on on. The theme here, yeah. who understood the assignment, we'll get to it eventually, I'm sure. Sure. Uh, but I was, I, yeah, this was not, this was not a promising start, let's just say. Not a promising start to the King's Quest series. Sort of like mm-hmm. how uh, the Dead Space book was, I mean, they wrote a Dead Space book after the first Dead Space book. Yeah. Um, so that's, that's a thing. That's something. Uh, that's something. <sighs> anyway, all right. I, I got wait, a feeling wait. we're going to read a lot of bad books this this year, Kevin. <laughs> I, I I don't have a good feeling. I've I have a feeling that we're going to have we're going to really round out the bottom of the list. <laughs> I, I, we, <laughs> I'm just going down our on our our schedule for the uh, for the year, and oh boy, okay, yeah, all right, we're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing we it. Got, Fine. We got we got one book on there that I I didn't. I was like, I didn't even know this is a video game. So uh, oh yeah. The what's it? The um, oh, fuck. What's the name of that? That Gabriel Knight. Gabriel Knight. I'm like, yep. I'm, I don't know what that is. That's another. <laughs> that's that's a old fashioned point and click, my friend. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, were there there were no Leisure Suit Larry books. There were none. Sad that to is. say. And I, but uh, you know what? Probably better that that did not happen. Probably okay. Probably, probably for the best. Okay. <laughs> I think if you try to make Leisure Suit Larry a book, it's going to get tragic really fast. It's, it's going to be a bummer, man. It's going to be either, a real bummer. It's either going to be uh, bad dad jokes uh-huh. or super offensive. I or mean, both. Yeah, both. And yeah, that's that's my guess. It's got to be both. So, yeah. Anyway. Anyway. <clears throat> it, most important question of the evening is... Mm-hmm. What are you playing? Oh, I'm so glad you asked because I actually did. I got a lot of gaming in this past week. I I went through my, I've got my to-do list on Steam and I'm trying to tear down this back wall here. Uh, Backlog, back wall, tear down this wall. wall. Tear (laughs) down, Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this back wall. (laughs) Mr. Uh, Gorbachev. Yeah. <laughs> so I went ahead first and foremost, and I I I, I hate fucked my way through Bionic Commando Rearmed. Um, Good. I was so frustrated. I I really enjoyed it at first, but the more stuff they added to it, the less I enjoyed myself. It was it was just getting kind of needlessly complicated, and and the new bosses were frustrating at times, and I was just like, it's just 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 just, just, just do it. Just be done with it and i and i did yeah um the head exploding at the end was pretty solid uh pretty pretty gross i liked that yeah Yeah. uh and then i moved on to the procession to calvary do you know this game kevin i only know it by the fact that your steam notification popped up that you were playing it you would like this (laughs) game uh it is a point and click game uh it's based very much in a similar style to the uh the um kind of collage art of uh of monty python the classic oh, okay works of yeah kind i think i saw i think I, I looked at the store pages and yeah yeah that that yeah that, the monty python uh collages yes yeah. it, it is a story where you are a uh knight who had been fighting in a war the war is over now but you are uh and you're not allowed to kill people anymore and you're very sad about this fact sure. and so you uh the leader uh that you fought for agrees to let you go on a mission to find the other leader and kill them uh, because the war just kind of ends, you know? And so, so right, you're allowed right, to right. go and kill that person. That's your last bit of bloodshed. And every 
character, every background piece, everything in it is taken from a classic work of art. Uh, oh, that's cool. It's really neat. It's gorgeous. And the fact that it's using like some of the crudest, most blasphemous humor you've ever heard in your life uh, is made extra fun uh, by yeah. the fact that every level has a different classical work of art, uh, sure. has a different classical song that's scoring it. Uh, and and there's always a musician in the background playing it. And if you look at the person, <laughs> they'll tell you what song it's playing. And you're like, oh, cool. It, and it's just it that's tricks awesome. you. Oh, it's great. And it tricks you into thinking you're cultured. Uh, despite the fact that it is just the most nihilistic crude. And when I say blasphemous, I mean, literally blasphemous because like they, they Jesus Christ is one of the characters. He's an NPC you play. And, 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 uh, he's simply referred to as the magician because he is a street magician and a fraud and a huckster and you're helping him trick people all the way through. Amazing. It's, it's so fun. It, took me about three hours to beat. Okay. okay. Uh, not a long experience. So it, 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 I think it'd be worth getting on sale. Um, but man, was it fun. It was, I just, I cackled the entire time I was playing this game. Yeah, I really awesome. enjoyed it. Um, and then after that, uh, I beat uh, Amnesia, a machine for pigs, which okay. was the, uh, the second like Amnesia the game. Yeah, 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 like the sequel, so to speak. Yeah, yeah. And I played Amnesia, The Dark Descent for the first time uh, a couple of years back. That was one that I had just never gotten to play. And it, you know, it holds up beautifully. Uh, the first sure. one did. The second one is done by uh, who the Chinese Room. Um, so it's uh, beautiful and atmospheric, but they've pared down on like hiding and uh, the madness mechanic and everything like that. And it almost feels like more of a walking simulator with some puzzles in there. And it sure. just doesn't hold up. Uh, it's not as good. It's also very short. Um, so it doesn't take long. And the story is really cool. And like I said, the atmosphere is excellent. And uh, and that's a, that's terrific. You know, it does right. set a really spooky mood, um, but it's nowhere near uh, the quality of the first amnesia and mm. uh and then oh, finally the, because sorry go ahead the, the chinese room they're they're the people that made uh dear esther yes um, yes and everyone's gone to the rapture everybody's gone to the rapture everybody's gone to the rapture that's the yeah. one um yeah. <laughs> so they you know and it shows uh yeah. i'm not negative on on walking sims i think they're great uh for what they are uh i enjoyed just, both of those games it but just took a little bit of the the, the teeth out of that's exactly it it takes it, it's it's not amnesia is not meant to be a walking sim and it it misses out on a lot of the good shit because of that although the story is excellent like i said um yeah. it's a really spooky atmosphere it, if anything honestly some of the levels were scarier uh than the originals uh it's just yeah it's very industrial and and gritty and grimy and yeah. it's terrific you know what's funny is i think we have Five Nights at Freddy's gets a lot of credit for uh, like the indie revival of uh, horror games. But yeah, I, th I really think a lot. There's a lot to be said about Amnesia, The oh, Dark Descent, which I think predates it by a number of years. Yes, um, I, I would absolutely argue that Amnesia uh, was the beginning of it. I think Five Nights at Freddy's was 100 percent the most successful example. I, sure. I think you'd have to be a fool to argue against that. Right. Um, but yeah, I totally agree. Yeah. Um, and then finally, because I, I, again, I'm going through this backlog, uh, crushing it, through you're games, just crushing that black backlog. crushing it. And I, I was like, you know what? I should play something that is uh, also a classic that I've never played. That is uh, actually meant to be really scary. And I started out last. Oh, okay. I'd never played Outlast before. Um, I played a lot of games that uh, borrow heavily from it. Uh, sure, sure. Uh, I'm enjoying it. It's uh, good. it's pretty good. I'm in the second level at this point. Uh, it's got it's very effectively scary. Uh, the use of you, the camera. You do a lot of sneaking around in it, right? That's, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah, pretty solid. It's kind of like playing a five hour version of the, um, you know. 
haunted house level of Resident Evil village. Uh, sure. <laughs> without a without a killer baby, uh, which <laughs> is my nightmare come to life, but it's very effective. So <laughs> Good. I'm having fun. I'm having fun. Yeah, you're really diving into the the horror media. I mean, you know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I, years ago, I feel like it, you. Uh, I, I recall you wouldn't necessarily dip your toe too hard into the horror games. Uh, yeah, and, and now you know. You are the you are the all seeing, all consuming <laughs> horror media monger. Um, I've always liked horror books and I've always liked horror movies, but for but horror games scared me senseless. Uh, sure, it was it was a level I couldn't deal with, and and yeah, you're right. I've just been I'm just kind of making up for all the the stuff that I didn't get to that I didn't yeah. get around to. Well, it's 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 because you're you're a horror writer of of America. You're That's official true. now. That's you're, true. It joins. I don't the horror know if Writers we actually said that on the podcast. You're no. You're, I'm I'm officially a member of the Horror Writers Association, and damn, it feels so good. So feels so good. Feels be so good. So to be associated with an associate, exactly of the association. It's it's <laughs> we're all just we're all just palling around, patting each other on the back here, Kevin. That's that's what we're all about here. Yeah. So yeah. What, uh, but what are you playing, Kevin? What 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 have you been playing? Mainly, I've been playing the Dead Space remake. Okay, um, really good. It's 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 quite good. Um, I was not a hundred percent sure whether Dead Space needed a remake. Like, yeah, initially, because years a couple of years ago, I played through all, through the first the well all three Dead Space games. And I was like, oh, you know what? They actually they hold up pretty well. They're pretty goddamn well. There's some really good. Yeah, they still look good. All that stuff. Um, so like, I don't know if it need 100 percent needs a remake. Um, and, you know, kudos to EA. Well, um, <laughs> that hurt to say, damn, uh, because they here. I believe they've left uh, original Dead Space up for sale. Like you can still buy Dead Space, the the non remake version of Dead Space. Right. Um, let me let me confirm that. But Pretty that was because sure I played it for the yes, first time. You can buy. Last yeah, year. it's it's on Steam. You can buy Dead Space 2008 um, instead of uh, the, the new remake if you wanted to. Nice. Um, and that's something that almost never happens. Yeah. When a remake or a remaster comes out, the old version most companies take it down. Like you're not even able to buy it anymore. So yeah, I'm glad that they left it available um, from like a preservation point of view. Um, oh, absolutely. But yeah, I'm almost all the way through it. Um, it's pretty neat. Um, it doesn't necessarily, and maybe it's just because I've missed some shit. It, it has some side quests, but I don't think it ne- really like takes it full advantage of the fact that they opened up the ship to like uh. exploration because they have only found a couple so far. <laughs> so it's <laughs> like, I feel like if you're going to do the side quest, like do the fucking side quest, like have it a thing you can just keep doing like th- a list of them. And instead it's like, there's only been a couple. So um, that's weird. Um, mm. But otherwise uh, good game. I just got past the, part where the other ship crashes into the um the ishimura the oh, um, nice. yeah. the 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 military ship crashes into the ishimura um and it introduces the um one of the more terrifying necromorph zombie dudes the ones with the stasis packs fused oh. into them so yeah. they're all like shaky and darting around. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, those are fucking terrifying. Um, but uh, yeah, really enjoying it. Uh, the other thing I've been playing is uh, Pizza Tower. Pizza Tower. Okay, tell me what what is this? I do not know this one. Okay, so Pizza Tower. Um, friend of the show, Hot Cider, has been going on and on about Wario lands and uh, wario like games forever and okay. uh, recently he was discussing on a discord that i'm on with him pizza tower which had been announced years ago finally came out um 
it's it's very much like the Wario Land games. Very, I think Wario Land Four, in which you just go through a level and you're trying to get like as high a score as possible, and then at the end of the level you trigger like a countdown timer and you have to race back out through the level before the timer expires. <laughs> this game looks like it was based on a cartoon from like one of the adult late night cartoons from the late eighties, yes. early nineties. It's the, the graphics are done in MS paint. If I, if I, if I'm oh correct, my God. Um, yeah, there it's, it's so amazing. It you know what it does? It, it feels the this the art style feels very much like home movies. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> this is ridiculous. This looks fun. This looks like a lot it's, of fun. It's very fun. It's very good for the Steam Deck. Um, it's not verified yet on Steam Deck, but it's it works quite well uh nice. on the Steam Deck. And um uh it's it's been a blast. Like I I, I basically I'll just pick it up at night and I'll play through a level it, it's not easy you know you have to yeah. you, you have to work out how you're getting through the level and all that stuff um <laughs> and i'll just you know play one level a night and set it aside but it's it's a it's a good time i'm, I'm enjoying pizza tower so far <laughs> this, is, this is pretty ridiculous i like it <laughs> um and one other thing i'm not playing it but um as of recording this episode returnal just came out on Steam. I saw that, yeah. And Returnal is one of my, it was one of my favorite games the year it came out. Honestly, it might be one of my favorite games of all time. Nice. Um, it's it's worth checking out. I mean, it's it's going to stick or shock because it's, it's priced at 60 bucks, which is a mm-hmm. lot for a Steam game. Um, but it's, it's only because it's like Sony, you know, it was a, it was a PlayStation five exclusive and whenever Sony like moves one of their exclusive games onto PC, they're like, well, you're going to pay for the same amount for it. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. I don't give a shit. You're paying, you're paying what we say. So yeah. Um, that's, that's a little shout out to Returnal. Go check it out. If you, uh, are interested in a, roguelike bullet hell that has a very um uh sad uh sad horror existential dread mystery story love it love it love it all right well that would do it for tonight's episode (laughs) king's quest king's quest floating castle down the toilet um, it took a while. That took a while to land. You got some air on that one. That was that's just magic, man. That's just <laughs> basic um, illusory shit. If you want to help us out, uh, follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Pixelit Pod. Go to our website, pixelitpod.com, where you can join our newsletter and get episodes early. You can also find a link to our Discord server where you can join in and have discussions about the episodes, books, gaming whatever whatever's on your mind join the community over at the discord server the link is available on pixelitpod.com that'll do it have a good night everybody good night